Stayallday.com. You're now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there, boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there, even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative, which is go get an energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques, all needed to umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today's topic is things that AI can do for your business or ways you should be using AI in your business. We'll decide on the title uh, when it comes out. But anyway, before we get started, let me remind everybody, I send out a text message every single day that is guaranteed to have you focused, sharp, and on point to start your day. It is called the Daily Motivation. I send one out every week. It does the same thing for your week. It's called the Monday Motivation. You can get those texts by joining my text community. It is free to join the community. My number is 305-384-6894. Once you text me, you'll get your options and you can choose accordingly from there. Secondly, work on your game university. That's the place where I do all of my coaching. It's the only place I do any coaching. If you want to work with me directly, join the university or get information on how you can join the university by going to work on your game university.com. You can schedule a free call with us, someone on the team or me, and we'll talk about where you're at, where you want to go, and if we can possibly help you, we'll give you an invitation into the university. Again, work on your game university.com is where you can do that. Now, with all that out of the way, let's get into this topic. This is actually going to be a series. I think this may be a three or four part series that I have laid out here. Let me see. I've got one, two, three. And then I have four. And this is actually kind of going to be a five part series because the last two parts are going to be. I got three parts talking about things that AI can do for your business right now, or I might title it ways that you should be using AI in your business right now. Then I have an episode on what is coming in AI that you cannot use your business for it so cleanly just yet, but it's coming. So I got a preview. That's going to be part four of this series. And then part five, which I may not even call these parts, but listen, maybe I will. I will tell you what to do if... One of these things that I say AI can do in your business right now is something that you might be providing right now to other people as a human. And AI is basically coming to take your job. I'm going to throw you a lifeline. I'm going to tell you some things that you can do in part five of the series. So you should listen to all five parts of the series because they're all going to go together. And whatever is, uh, whatever is mentioned in these first three parts of things that AI can do now that used to be done by humans or is currently being done by humans, you will then see in parts four and five what AI is about to start doing to replace humans. And then in part five, you will know what you should do if one of those things happens to be your job that AI is uh, coming to replace. So let's get into this now. I'm sure many of you have heard of AI. If you don't know what that is, AI stands for artificial intelligence. And maybe some of you are actively using uh, artificial intelligence. As a matter of fact, all of us are using artificial intelligence actively. Some of you are doing it on purpose, consciously. Some of you are doing it and you don't even know you're using artificial intelligence or you may not know that artificial intelligence is using you. Now today, again, and in this four slash five part series, I'm going to share with you some things that every business owner should be using AI for right now. And if not, you need to start. Everybody got that? You are not using AI for these things right now. You need to start using it for these things right now. I want you to understand that AI and the use, its use, artificial intelligence, this is not optional, folks. This is not optional. This is not something you can sit out. AI will be taking over things in your life before you know it, and sometimes it'll be taking things over and you won't even know that it's taking over. Again, for many of you, if you are aware of how AI works and you pay attention, you may know that AI has already taken over some parts of your life. So this is a train that everyone listening to me needs to jump on and take advantage of now before everyone else understands what's happening. If Artificial intelligence was a baseball game. We're still in the top of the first inning, meaning this game has barely begun. And if you jump on and start using AI now, you will be an early adopter. You'll be an early adopter to start using AI right now because it is not even uh, perfect yet. There are still some, some uh, bugs in the AI system. There are still many AI softwares being offered very generously by the companies who are doing it. And I'll explain that as I get into my points. Companies are offering very generous uh, terms when it comes to using AI these days, simply because it's not perfect yet. But when it gets perfected, and it will get perfected sooner than you think it will be, those terms are not going to be as generous as they are right now. All right, there were very generous terms for starting a website and buying a domain name in 1997. 
All right, they're not so generous and friendly in 2023 simply because now uh, you'd be late to the you'd be late to the wave if you were jumping on it right now. This is where AI is at. So any of you who missed the dot com bubble at the turn of the century, if you missed Bitcoin a few years ago, if you missed some great stock that just jumped up by ten thousand percent and you missed it, you didn't invest enough money in it. Understand that this is your chance. You can tell your grandkids that you jumped on AI when it first got started. And you rode that wave to success. It doesn't mean you need to be investing in a company necessarily. It just means you need to know what it is, understand it, learn to use it, and learn to harness it to your own advantage. That's what I'm going to be explaining to you here and in this uh, three to five part series. Because again, first three parts, I'm going to tell you specific ways you can be using AI in your business. Part four, I'm going to tell you what's coming that you can't quite do it just yet, but you will be able to. And then in part five, I'm going to tell you what to do if AI is threatening something that is actually making you money right now. And pretty soon humans won't need you because they're going to be replacing you with software. I'm going to tell you what opportunities you have if that even happens to be you. So basically, I'm going to give this is going to be a one stop shop for everything you need as far as AI goes, at least as it stands right now. Now, this is going to change relatively quickly, but I'm going to throw those caveats in here as I go through my points. So any of you want to be an early adopter or one thing in your life ever, AI is it. All right. This is the thing you can jump on right now. And I'm going to tell you exactly what and exactly how. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, what more can you ask for? For free? Are you kidding me? Point number one. Today's topic, once again, is ways you need to be using AI in your business right now. Number one, automated customer support. Now, while I personally often hate having to engage with a bot when I'm reaching out to a company, you ever called a bank or something and they have you talk to the automated system before you can actually talk to a human and put in your social security number, put in your card number, put in your account number, uh, what, who, who do you need? What do you want to talk to? Choose option one or option five or option six. And press start here and again. I hate having to do that. At the same time, it can work well when it's done properly. Now, I don't, when it's, I don't like when it's done very slowly and it seems to be trying to block you from actually getting through to a human. There are some companies whose bot system does this, but AI is a little bit smarter than simple bot systems. It goes a little bit deeper than that. And this can work very well, very seamlessly and extremely fast when it's done right. So if you know the main things that your customers will always need or ask for from your business, you can set up your artificial intelligence bots to deal with those exact issues that will actually save you time. It will save your customers time because they don't have to wait to hear back from a human. As humans go on break, humans go to the bathroom, humans eat lunch. Bots don't do any of that. They can immediately respond. And if you already anticipate the needs of your customers, then you can serve a customer in two minutes without them having to wait 20 minutes or two hours or two days to get a response from a human being. So an example of this is an app like ManyChat. It's called M-A-N-Y, ManyChat. It's an app that can plug into, for example, Instagram and Facebook, and you can set up complete bot conversations between uh, your customers or your prospects and the bots. And you can create basically decision trees. So someone comes and sends you a DM on Instagram, for example, you can have your mini chat bots respond to their DM immediately and basically take them through a series of questions and answers and take responses from them. And based on what they say, they can go this way or that way. And you can take them all the way through a whole conversation, which leads to them, to them possibly you know, signing up for your list or buying your product or ordering a copy of your book or joining your mastermind or giving their email address so they can be on your list, whatever it happens to be. Mini chat is an app that uses AI software that can do this right now. And What's even better with ManyChat is that you don't have to be the brain. You don't have to be the mastermind of the whole thing. ManyChat has AI software within its back end that can help build out the decision tree for you. So ManyChat uses AI itself to work on your behalf. But if you don't know how to set up the AI to make it work, you can click a button in ManyChat and it will design a decision tree for you. All you have to do is edit the tree that the AI designed for you. And I'm a user of ManyChat, so I know this is 100% true. And I keep my setup relatively simple as of this recording, but it may be more complex by the time you hear this. But the whole point is I can send bots. I can have bots set up that will help sell copies of my books, schedule calls to get into my coaching programs, join my mastermind groups. Bots can, are basically working as salespeople on my behalf. I can have bots set up based on comments. So any of you ever use Instagram or Facebook, you see somebody say, leave a comment with this word if you want to get more information about this program that I have or something like that. You ever hear, see somebody post that? They're using a bot. They're using AI software. So anybody who leaves the comment that says the word uh, glass, then you get a DM immediately about the, the glass special that you can get for 80% off 
or Friday, whatever the situation happens to be. And now understand AI bots can be extremely complex. They can go much deeper than just that. They can do a lot of things. Now I've engaged with bots that will ask a lot of questions and they'll continue the conversation based on my specific answers to their questions. This is why you all need to get involved with AI because there's a lot of things it can do that replaces the need for human beings and it's a lot faster and more responsive than a human being is. And when I'm, there's some bots that I've engaged with that I never felt annoyed in the process of engaging with those bots because it was actually asking the right questions and it was giving me what I actually wanted. I, I'm like, okay, if the bot can do this, I don't need a human being. I didn't even feel annoyed with the fact that I knew I was talking to a bot because the bot was doing exactly what it needed to do. I didn't need to talk to a human and the bot was a lot faster and a lot more specific and giving his answers than the human being was. I never felt annoyed in the process. So you can start with very simple stuff and you can go a lot deeper. And again, the AI within the system, the AI within the AI can help you design whatever you want to design. So again, it saves time, saves you attention, saves you energy, and it plays into the growing expectation, folks. Entrepreneurs, listen to this. Many consumers have an expectation for immediate response and immediate information. And many of you do as consumers. When you reach out to a company, you're expecting some type of immediate response, some type of acknowledgement that you have reached out to them and you would love to be engaged with immediately. AI is able to do this. You personally, as a human, can't always engage with everyone immediately. What if you got three people sending you an email at the same time? Like you can't respond to all of them at the same time. But if you have AI bots set up, you can respond to them all at the same time and give them what they want. Again, depending on how well you know your customer and how well you anticipate what they would be reaching out to you for. Point number two. Today's topic, once again, we are on part one of, we'll just say this is going to be a, a three, it's actually going to be a five, let's call it a five part series. Part one of five and ways that you need to be using AI in your business right now. Number two, social media management. Yes, social media management, not just social media posting, social media management. And one thing you're going to notice through this series is that many of these AI usages that I'm going to be referring to are things that have commonly been done by human beings, living, breathing humans. And some of these are going to be things that some of you do as living, breathing humans. Again, at the end of the series, I'm going to tell you what to do if any of these seem to be threatening your position. So don't worry, but you should listen so you understand what people like you, like your prospects are starting to understand AI is going to be able to do and why they might start thinking about firing you and hiring AI because AI is simply cheaper than you are. Um, this is an economic decision. AI is coming for a lot of people's jobs, folks. Let's not hide the fact. Let's not hide this. This is true. AI is coming for a lot of people's jobs, if it has not already. Any of you been to a McDonald's lately? Hopefully, if you went to McDonald's, you were just walking past, right? You weren't going in there eating anything, right? You weren't buying anything from McDonald's, were you? Okay, good. If you go into a McDonald's, you'll notice, and they probably have this at Burger King and Wendy's too. I would not know, but I have seen it at McDonald's because I was in a McDonald's in Europe in 2021, and they already had this. This was two and a half years ago. So I know they have it in America now, and I know they have it in other fast food places where you walk in the store. I remember walking to the store. I was in Europe, uh, 2021, and I just wanted to see what McDonald's was like in Europe. And I was in the country of Georgia, not Georgia the state, Georgia the country. And there was a, a worker, like, like a manager. I, he could tell that I was American, and he probably couldn't speak English. So he looked at me, I looked at him, and he just pointed at what was a series of boards up on the, they weren't even up on the wall, they were like in the middle on a pillar, like going around with like four boards. And the board is where you will order your food. And I'm on there and I didn't actually order anything from McDonald's. I'm just basically doing an Instagram story and just showing the people, most of my audience being Americans back home, what it looks like in the McDonald's over there and how they had the board and how it was in different languages and stuff. And the manager was trying to tell me that I couldn't do that. And I told him that in my American language, just get the fuck out of my face. But the whole point is, that they had the boards there to replace the humans. That's the point. Now, there was one, maybe two humans working at a register for the people who simply didn't want to deal with the board. They want to talk to a human. They still had that. But trust me, there's coming. There's going to come a time where ain't no humans. <laughs> there will be no humans. Any of you been to Whole Foods lately? All right. And I know this is Whole Foods, one of the places that I shop. They don't they haven't done this at Trader Joe's yet. Maybe they won't. But at Whole Foods, the Whole Foods that I go to most often, there used to be rows and rows of cashiers to check you out when you were ready to cash out and pay for yourself. Then they started doing the self checkout lines. Right? They, they started with maybe four self checkout kiosks inside of this particular Whole Foods. This is a pretty big Whole Foods. Then those four self checkout kiosks became eight self checkout kiosks. As of the last time I was in this Whole Foods, which was just this last Sunday from the day I'm recording this, 
there were about 20 self-checkout kiosks. And the more self-checkout kiosks get added, guess what gets eliminated? Human-run cashiers. Human-run conveyor, not conveyor belts, but the, the checkout lines. There are fewer humans working there. And guess what? Those humans, uh, those are, they're just getting eliminated. They don't have a job anymore. Those people are not just getting reassigned to other jobs. No, they're being replaced by robots, which cost less. There's less upkeep. There's no health insurance. Uh, they don't have to pay taxes on them. And you just ain't got a job anymore. So uh, I've been telling you all this for years, that there were computers coming for your jobs. So have I not? You've been listening to the show long enough. You heard me say this. It's happening now. Now you can see it in your own life. It's been, they've been working on this in the background for, for decades. They just now are starting to put this stuff out there because now they got the, the tools to actually do it. So if, so I'm not even getting into my point here. We're talking about social media management here. Point number two, if you're using social media to post, let's say, for example, how many of you use social media and you want to post on certain applications a certain number of times per day, but for whatever reason, you haven't been always been able to do it because you're doing other stuff or you forget or you're just not consistent enough doing it. Many of you have that challenge. I talk to uh, many entrepreneurs and they tell me this. Well, guess what? There's, there are AI softwares that will do this for you and they already exist. These are already out. So, so you can plug in your materials, whatever you got. You got some videos, you got some pictures, you got some status updates. You can plug these into certain social media. There are softwares that have been doing this. This is not brand new. There are things that have been doing this for a while. But I want to tell you how AI puts this stuff on steroids. So there are apps like uh, uh, Buffer is one of them. There's one called Hootsuite. And there are many others where you can basically, let's say I came up with 50 pictures that I want to post. I can put all 50 pictures into something like Hootsuite and tell it, all right, put this one out on the first, this one on the second, third, fourth, fifth, and I can do the next 50 days and schedule everything. That's not new technology. But here's where the new technology comes in. Now... You can plug in and program your AI software not only to post at certain times every day or a certain number of times per day. You can also have it create the content for you. You don't even have to come up with the material. The AI will create the material for you. Now, this is it's pretty early in the game. And I've looked at some of this and it's not all amazing just yet, but it will be amazing and it will get very good. And in my later points, I'm going to tell you where this AI is going to be going. And just to give you a hint, a sneak peek of where it's going to be going, there's going to come a time in the next three to five years, and that's the range I'm going to use often in this series, three to five years before this stuff gets much more tight, that AI will be able to get a feel for who you are, how your style is, how you communicate, and it'll be able to create content based on your style of communication that someone who didn't know that you use AI, they wouldn't know that software made it rather than you making it. That's where it's going. That's where social media management is going. And again, this is why it's going to replace human beings because AI software, I got, that means it's going to come a time in the next three to five years where I can click a button and my AI software will create 1,000 status updates for the next 1,000 days if I want to post one per day, for example, and it'll do it in 10 minutes. Name a human being who can do that. You can't because there ain't one. All right, this is why AI is going to replace human beings. It's just way too efficient. and. For me to get a human to create a thousand status updates for me, how much do I have to pay them? Well, how much do I have to pay the AI software to do it? It'll be a lot different. Again, this is simple economics, folks. AI is going to be doing all this in your place. Posting, post a certain number of times per day, even creating the content. And we're not just talking textual content, folks. Textual will be the easiest one. Is the first one. That's the first wave. But images, they're coming. We're going to talk about that in one of my points here. Oh, in video? Oh, that's coming too. In video of, not video of just random video video of you. Yes, this is coming. And I'm going to talk about that. That's coming in my later points here in this series. That video, AI will be able to create a video of you doing and saying things. And there will come a time. It's not there yet. It's not quite at this level yet, but it will be. Where the AI software will be so good that no one could tell that you didn't actually make the video. If you're watching this on video right now, I am actually recording. This is not AI. Right? It's really me. All right, but there'll come a time when AI will be able to do this and I won't even have to do it. I could just plug in the text and AI will make a video of me talking and I never actually did that recording. And you won't know that AI made it. You think I'm joking? Okay. Keep thinking that. All right, video editors, all right, y'all better wake up and I'm going to get to y'all and my later points here. So I've tried a couple of these AI softwares when it comes to social media management and they are not exactly where I need them to be yet, but some of you don't need to be where I need to be. Some of you should be using this right now. 
and they're moving forward rapidly. Because I look at a lot of AI applications. I get emails about AI stuff and AI news. And so I read up on this stuff a lot. So I see a lot of stuff and I get pitched a lot by a lot of, um, uh, what do they call it? Like gig workers and freelancers. I get a lot of emails from gig workers and freelancers and DMs pitching me about how they can do certain things for me. And I know they're using AI software, but they're pitching it as if they're doing it when I know what they're doing. They don't know that I know what they're doing, but I know because yeah, I, I read a lot, I pay attention. So I would say about when it comes to social media management, many of these apps are about 80% of the way there. And that's why I said some of you should be using this right now because some of you are like 0% of the way there. So 80% would be a big gain for you. So these apps will take your material, randomize it, structure it, schedule it, organize it, and put it out exactly as you want it, when you want it, based on templates you create, based on whatever schedule you like, which is something that you ain't doing right now, which means you need to be using the software. Moving on, point number three. We are talking here about ways you need to be using AI in your business as of yesterday. All right, many of you entrepreneurs. Number three, content creation. I just touched on this in many ways in point number two. When it comes to writing, for example, and I, I want to explain to you the waves of AI. So what AI basically does, and I'm keeping this very simple, and maybe some of you who are uh, super techie, more techie than me, who could explain how AI works better than I can. If you can, you should be making content and explaining it. I'm making content explaining on a level that uh, basically enough level for you to understand what artificial intelligence is. That's what AI stands for. It learns is basically a learning model. It learns how to do things based on how much material is being fed to it. So what has been around the longest? If you think about uh, human civilization, what's been around the longest is text. We were writing before we had audio and before we had video. He's recorded audio and recorded video. So text is the first wave that you can use AI for. So if you use an app like ChatGPT, many of you are familiar with ChatGPT, where you can basically give it a prompt, click a button, and it can basically come up with stuff. Or hey, ChatGPT can write a blog post on your behalf right now. All right. If you didn't know about ChatGPT, uh, catch up. All right. So you can do something like that right now because text was the easiest thing for AI software to learn because there's more of it for it to learn from. The next wave is going to be audio and video. There's less of it to learn from, and it's a little bit more dynamic because audio and video are not just one, uh, it's not just one format, but the format of texture is just text. Format of audio and video, you have the visual element and you have the audio element. Well, with audio, you just have audio, but with the video, you have to see it and you got to hear it. And that takes a lot of computing power to create a video with artificial intelligence. It takes a ton of computing power, but computing power is always getting bigger, stronger, faster, and cheaper all at the same time. Uh, there's a uh, law called Moore's Law. The computing power is always increasing at a very rapid rate. I forget the exact number. You can look it up yourself if you really want to know. The whole point is text is coming first, or it's already here first. Then we're going to get the audio. Then we're going to get the video in that order. So if you are a good and seasoned writer, let's talk, we're talking content creation here. Because AI software is 95% of the way there when it comes to content creation, at least when it comes to text. Now, if you are a very good writer and a seasoned writer, let's say you're somewhere in my range when it comes to writing, you write as often as I do and as I have as much writing experience as I have. I've written 33 books. I write articles. You're on my email list. Uh, you see it. I'm in your inbox every day, often more than once per day. AI can't replace somebody like me. Not yet. Not yet. I believe there's a time AI will be able to replace a person like me. And I'm going to tell you how. Now, if you're a terrible or novice writer, or you just don't write at all, then AI can boost you and get you in the game right now. You can get in the game right now if you don't write at all using AI. AI can get you in the game today. And it doesn't even have to cost you anything. ChatGPT is free, folks. They have a paid level, they have a free level. You can, get in, you can start getting in the writing game right now through ChatGPT today. I predict... In the next five years, AI software will be able to be fed. Someone like myself, as I said, somebody like me, AI can't do anything. AI can't really do any kind of writing for me right now based on my writing style. If you read my emails or my books and things like that, you notice that a lot of my writing involves uh, personal anecdotes and personal stories, even listening to the show. I use a lot of personal anecdotes and personal stories that AI could not possibly know about. However, I believe that in the next five years, AI will be able to basically be fed all the material I've ever created. So I can take every YouTube video I ever made, every podcast episode I've ever recorded, masterclass episode I've ever done. I can basically plug my, my feed of those platforms into an AI system. Just give them the link to the platforms. They can just read, quote unquote, everything I've ever made. I can plug in every book that I've ever written, every article that I have ever published, every blog post that I've ever put out. 
AI can read it all, get a good feel, because this is what AI is. AI just learns, it learns things based on how much information is being fed. I believe AI will be able to be fed everything I've ever made, get a pretty good feel for who Dre Baldwin is and my style and my stories and my background and the words that I use and my verbal tics and all of that stuff. And it will be able to create material as if I wrote it, but I did not write it at all. But it will sound just like me. And you as a reader would not be able to tell the difference. This is going to happen. So when I say it can't help somebody like me yet, I do mean yet. And if you're new, AI can help you to death. Because AI right now doesn't know the anecdotes and the stories that I come up with. I like, couldn't tell you that I was in Europe two years ago and I walked into a McDonald's and I saw that they had the boards. It wouldn't know that. But I believe there's a coming time AI will know that because it will just listen to this episode. It will understand that. It will store it as one of my stories. And I'd say write an article and make sure you put three stories in it. It might use that as one of the stories. Yes, this is going to happen, people. This is going to happen. So any of you who's old enough, you remember the cartoon, The Jetsons, back in the day, George Jetson and Jane, his wife, and daughter Judy, and they had the little robot. What was the robot's name? What was her name? What was her name? Rosie? I can't remember the name of the robot. But they had, and they had the boy Elroy. They had the dog. What was the dog's name? I forget the dog's name. But the TV show, The Jetsons, was this cartoon that was allegedly based in the future. And in this cartoon, was The Jetsons, I think, came out, probably came out in the 60s or 70s. They were saying by the year 2000, which seemed so far away back then, that we're going to be, if you look up the Jetsons, people were driving around in flying cars. We all lived up in the sky. We didn't live on the ground. We lived up in the sky now. You got in these flying cars, and they would just fly around from one point to another. And this is what people envision the year 2000 would look like. We didn't quite get there when it came to uh, what the Jetsons were predicting. But when it comes to what we're doing computing-wise, we're on our way. By the year 3000, we may actually be living like the Jetsons. Maybe. We'll see. So this is, this is coming, everybody. So those of you old enough to remember the Jetsons know what I'm talking about. Those of you who have no idea what the Jetsons is, uh, ask your parents or Google it. Or you don't have, even have to know to understand where we're at here. We're still on point number three here today, talking about how you should be using AI. I would not be surprised within, as I said, within the next, I would say, 10 to 15 years to where AI can basically know a person. Can know everything about you depending on how much information you want to give it and video again may take a little bit longer than textual work simply because text was out before video was up so there is ai software that's already out right now that can follow up with customers using video did you hear what i just said ai software that can follow up with customers using video when i say using video i mean customized video meaning the video will say your name now, how is that possible well, the way this works, and I saw an app that does this. I forget the name of the app because I didn't really have a use for it the way it was set up, at least not yet. But here's what it does. You record a video that says, hey, Mike, or whatever your name is, thank you for taking a look at my book, The Third Day, The Decision that Separates the Pros from the Amateurs. I saw that you didn't complete your purchase, but I just wanted to follow up with you to make sure that you had all the information that you needed. If you need any help with putting your credit card number in, if you had some issues with the CVV code, or you didn't put the right shipping information in, let us know. We'll help you out with that. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you soon. Or that video can say, hey, hey, Mike, congratulations on your order of the third day. Uh, we're going to be sending you a follow-up email within 24 hours with your uh, receipt and order confirmation. And within the next five to seven business days, you'll get an email with a link to your tracking number so you can follow your package on its way to you. I look forward to you reading my book, The Third Day, and making the decision that separates the pros from the amateurs. I'll talk to you soon. Now, the thing about that video, at least the one that I saw, software that I saw, is that the only thing that can change in that is the name of the person that you mentioned at the beginning. So, hey, blank, it can change that name and it can make your mouth move to say whatever name. But it can't change any other part of the video. The rest of the video is going to be basically the same every single time. I personally didn't need something like that, but I can absolutely see businesses using that right now. And there are businesses who have really good use for that. And some of you may be businesses who, need, who could have really good use for that. Because right now, it can only mimic a handful of terms. But this is, it's coming that there's AI software that will be able to do this and will be able to do it very easily and very cheaply. There are other video platforms that can do stuff that are similar to this. And there's some, I'm not remembering the names of all of these things off the top of my head. So please don't email me or text me saying, Joe, what's the name of the software that does this and that? If I know the name, I will tell you the name. If I don't say the names because I don't know it. But you all can go look around and find out about this stuff because it's already out. So there's other AI software where you feed it. And this is, I just talked about this. Let's say you feed it an hour-long video of you talking. It just needs to get a feel for your talking style, how you move your mouth, your mannerisms, all of that. 
and it can create an entire video that you never actually recorded. And you give it the script and it'll make a whole video of you saying whatever is on that script and you never actually said it and the video looks very, very real. And you won't be able to tell that it's AI generated. That is out right now, but it is a little bit costly right now because computing power costs so much, but the price of computing power goes down while the power of the computing goes up. That's the beauty for all of us. That's the reason why we have all the technology we have here today, that the computing power gets stronger, but the price of it goes down. That's happening today, everybody. I keep emphasizing this because I need y'all to wake up. This is your chance to catch a wave that you didn't catch in the past. And I, I predict there will be a time AI will just, you could just put in a paragraph of, of text. You could just write something down, click a button, and AI is going to make a video of you saying that as if you actually said it when you never did. And no one will tell. Now, some people do this now. Again, they call them deep fakes. Sometimes you make a video of like the president saying something crazy. And then people say, well, that's a fake video. It's AI generated. But this is going to be ubiquitous and normal very soon to where anyone can make a video of pretty much anyone else saying or doing anything that you want to have them saying or doing. And no one will be able to tell that it's fake. And this is going to cause all kinds of privacy issues, all kinds of legal challenges. Yes, all of those things are going to happen. But that doesn't mean any of this is not going to happen. It's going to happen. It's coming. So this is why I'm uh, trying to bend your ear to get hit to this because it's coming whether you agree with it or not. So let me recap these first three points here and tomorrow we're going to go into the next three. We're talking about ways you need to be using AI in your business right now today. Number one, automated customer support. When this is done properly, it actually helps your customers and moves them along faster. Number two, social media management. This is usually done by humans. It will not be done by humans five, 10 years from now. This will all be done by AI software because the software will replace the humans. It is faster, it is more consistent, and it can produce more content and more volume that you don't even have to come up with. And number three, content creation. When it comes to writing, AI software is 95% of the way there. When it comes to audio and video, it's not quite there yet. But within the next 10 to 15 years, AI will be able to create video, recorded video of you doing something that you've never actually recorded, never actually did, never actually said out of your mouth. And no one will be, will be able to tell that it was AI generated. You, didn't th you don't think this is happening? Oh, it's happening. So y'all better wake up. And we're only on part one. This is a five-part series. Tomorrow, we're going to go into the next steps of the things that, next things that AI can do in your business that you need to be using it for right now. Text me. Make sure you're in my text community. My number is 305-384-6894. Work on your game university. It's the only place I do any coaching. You want to work with me directly, go to work on your game university.com. I'll tell you what your options are and how to move forward. Work on your game. Dre, all.